guessing it's going to be like a what I eat, a few days in my life, vibing, yeah. recovery. A week in recovery. Um, a week in recovery. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of socialising this week. I've already socialised with this one once. Again. And we're back again. So, so if I get into skating, because the girls all skate, so we've ordered our skates. So we've got hers today and mine is still coming. And so we're here shopping today for safety gear. We need our helmets. I heard her say something I wasn't sure, waiting for coffees. I, I'll, I'll go on. Do you want to have a little yes. sneak? Yes, um, uh, I don't think he asked my name, but it's a nitro cold brew with almond milk. Okay. Oh no. Wait, so what happened? I, I hope I got my mic. I hope my mic's good because it would have caught all. Oh, really? Is it still on? Yeah. Mine's, mine's a grande nitro cold brew with almond. That's what I just. I think it's a grande nitro cold brew. She said, yeah. I think it's my friend's. Jarman? It's a Jarman on it. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll go up. I'll go up. I'll come back. Hey, gang, gang. Um, it's your girl Sophie. I messed up. I think I got someone else's drink. I don't think anyone wants to touch it. I look here, right? Um, I don't think anyone wants to like touch it anymore because they saw me take it and put it back, but whatever. Um, I got this oat milk. Oh wait, <laughs> wait, what? I got this oat milk um, cocoa macchiato from Starbucks. I don't usually get Starbucks, but I'm gonna just put a sip. Hey. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't taste like anything different. It just doesn't taste like chocolate. Do you want to try? I don't know how this works. Ooh. I'm not the biggest fan. It doesn't, it's not chocolatey enough for me. It just tastes like a coffee. Oh, I can certainly taste the chocolate. Really? It's like, it's like this much chocolate and like this much Yeah, and then whereas when I have hot chocolate, it's like... You like the chocolate Yes. Okay, there you go. Okay, I had a bit of a chat with them. Beautiful. <laughs> well, I'll do a taste test of mine because yeah. I've never gone. So I got the nitro <laughs> cold brew. Okay, these I do. These things bother me because I can never get them up. Oh, they just fall in. My camera's out of out of shot. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Like just yeah, show me your arms. Like just... Okay. Yeah, wow. So. Is it nice? Mm, it is, actually. Do you want to taste? Okay, so. It's quite a strong coffee. Oh, I just... Oh, I hate that. Yeah. I think I haven't finished my intro, but... Ugh. We're getting some skate protective gear today. They went to lunch, which you would have seen earlier. And then we've seen them seen BTS movie tonight. <laughs> so... Oh, and I'm getting piercings. Mm, okay. Can I vlog that? I had income in the room with me. Oh, that's right. You if you could, I definitely would. Yeah. But COVID. Mm. Anyway, we'll drink our coffees now. Tears fall to my covers Where they sink one by one Yeah, I watch them disappear to nothing Disposable as chewing gum There are deal breakers where I come from My family don't suffer Fools glad they know I don't know what the point of that was. Just cut back to it. Cause I want something deeper. If I'm a find a keeper. Not saying I'm some genius. But I'm smart enough to know I'm worth fighting for. Yeah, I want something deeper. If I find him, I'm a keeper. Not saying I'm Smart enough to know I'm a 
like it, it would catch you. Okay, well, maybe I'll try on both. Oh, I should have got you with all your blue. Oh, that's all right. Cut it up. Just trying on some. Oh, I don't know why I just clicked. I'm trying on our skate gear. Oh, these are my piercings too. So I've got my thirds done. And then I've got my mid helix. Ready? Oh my god, there's someone going to walk past in three seconds. I just know it. Ready? Go on then. Ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. But, like, but your wrists are good. <laughs> your wrists are good. It's a good. Oh, you literally cannot see me. Okay, so we've come to Grilled for dinner before the movie. And we bought some of our skate stuff. Oh, yeah, you do. So we've got a sparkly helmet. The Impala Protective. Did you see yourself in the face? Yes, I did. So sitting here at the table trying everything on. How are you going there? Yeah, look, the elbows fit, knees can't even get past the calves. Calves? We're pinned it out at dinner. So disappointed. <laughs> and um, so we've already ordered our food. So I got my classic Zen hen on the traditional, and I've got a cheeky. Limpton lemon oh, here, and you've got oh, a Limpton. You inspired me to get Did it. I? Because I, love I like um, real talk, I actually don't. I always get kombuchas because they're it's a lot of sugar. Low, no, no, because they're low calorie. Oh, oh and really? because of the sugar. Um, not as low as kombucha, though. Oh, I see, Trust yeah. me, I know all the numbers. I'm <laughs> right. trying to not look at the thing. Yeah. Um, and also, one thing annoys me at grilled, they put all the, all the um, killer jewels on the menu, right. which really annoys me, but. Are you looking at them? I was looking at them oh, a lot. I didn't even know they were on the that, menu. I know, and I wish, like, I wish I was like, that's why I went with yeah. the Zen Hen, because I was like... Wait, oh, is that why just, you picked it over the no, Simply Grill? Well, no, 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 because Zen Hen's my basic, and I just got too overwhelmed with all these. Right, okay, fair. Realistically, I should have challenged myself, but I just didn't want to get all Fine. things. So you it's one of my classic. I got the challenging that's, drink. Yeah. And what did you get? You got the Caesar? Yeah, I got the Caesar salad. She sounds really good. Like, oh, right. Yeah. Look, look at it. She's so protected. She's a skater girl. Skater girl. Like, knock someone out. Can I knock you out? Yeah, do it. I dare you to. Wow. That's really scary. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Did you want Bellhop, Yeah, I love a cry for help. But I'm tired of lying with liars. You're the truth. I'm scared to tell. There are deal breakers where I come from My family don't suffer, fools glad they know Do we kiss and lie in bed To feel awkward silences Do we feel emptiness afterwards Cause I want something deeper If I'm a friend to keep her Good morning. I know this is like a really bad placement for you guys, but I'm sort of in a rush and want to chat to you guys, but I'm going. So I've just set you up down in my little cup holder here while I drive. I'm seeing a few movies today with Sophie. The last time I spoke to you guys was Monday and it's now Friday. To be honest, kind of had like a shitty week and just really haven't felt like picking up the camera. Some stuff happened that, yeah, just like life stuff, nothing like super major. Anywho, I thought I'd catch you guys up with a few things and sort of make this vlog like fun at the start and then chatty at the end. I know it's a bit higgledy-piggledy, but welcome to my channel, really. Like, do we ever have, you know, perfectly, you know, beautiful vlogs? Anyway, I'm just picking my music for the drive. Okay, I'm gonna have that play, but obviously not play while I'm talking to you guys. Anyway, so, here's the update. Thank you. Yeah, so in my last vlog I spoke about like digestive issues I've been having and everything again, and I've been having them again, okay? So it's been really annoying that I've been having them because, here you go. 
You're welcome. I thought that I was eating enough to be able to not have them anymore. Like my body was working again and that obviously was not the case, which was a bit of a rude reminder for me to be like, okay, don't get cocky about recovery. You've still got a long way to go. So basically I was like sort of like constipated again to the point where my doctor actually wrote me another referral to go back into hospital. But I was like determined not to have to go back into hospital because that was just like, Oh, like that was just such a sad time for me. I just think going back into hospital for the same reason would just be really triggering for me. So obviously not doing that. Um, so basically I was put on like a bunch of like medications, all doctor approved laxatives and everything like that to try to get me going and they have worked. So very happy about that actually, but my system is still quite slow. Like I sort of had like a, I guess like a mini impaction again. And then um, obviously like I've cleared it now, but my system's still a bit slow. So I've been struggling with a lot of bloating, which has been really hard on my body image. And I've had really poor body image over the past three weeks. What's so crazy about that is, is early in recovery, like my body image was really up and down with like what the number of the scales were. And like, yes, I've gone up on the scales after like a super long time of just like really struggling to gain weight in recovery. But <clears throat> this weight on the scale hasn't gone up for a couple weeks. The weight on the scale, oh, I guess the same thing. And I'm still like struggling a bit. And obviously, taking like like eating high fiber foods taking laxatives makes you really bloated and that's what's triggering a lot of really bad body image thoughts for me but it's just really challenging because you know in recovery when you take one step forward like i sometimes feel like i'm taking three steps back and i felt really on top of it and now that i don't i know it's just like a massive ramble but like mm. that's what that's what we're here for so yeah, body image has been really bad and I've just been feeling like a little bit uncomfy. Like my, I just feel uncomfortable in my clothes and like stuff like that. Like I had the outfit that I'm wearing today, I actually had like a different one on when I, I like got ready today. And everything's still like, I know like truthfully that everything still fits the same. Like I haven't, you know, gained a, you know, extensive amount of weight that's caused me to not fit my clothes anymore. That's not the case but I just feel really bloated and blah. And I think that's really important to acknowledge because just because in recovery, there's so many positive gains when it comes to your mental health and you know happiness and everything like that. It doesn't mean it's all like happy, happy, joy, joy, you know? Like obviously I'm at a much better place now than I was when I first started recovery and I was really down and everything like that. But it doesn't mean that every day for me is like, Woo, recovery, yay, it's working. And I never want to betray that on this channel. So I feel like that's like why it's important um, <clears throat> for me to like touch on these things. So yeah, body image has been pretty bad. I'm trying not to be hard on myself when I look in the mirror. Like if I do, if I am really mean to myself in the mirror, I'm always like, why do you talk to yourself like this? Like this is so bad. So I'm really trying to combat those thoughts but it is super duper challenging. So yeah, but you know, everybody goes through it. Everybody bloats, everybody's weight fluctuates. Like it's just, you know, the circle of life. So I've just got to be a little bit more like not so hard on myself about all of that stuff. So that is the body image stuff that has been sort of crappy. Next up, I have just been feeling a little bit, a few like personal things have happened in my life that, I won't go into detail right now, but they've just sort of brought me down a bit, like brought my mood down and everything like that. And I'm so lucky to have such a supportive family and like my friends and everything. But yeah, just some stuff's happened that's been sort of crappy and unexpected. And immediately when stuff happens like that, my thought process was, you've got to restrict, you know? Like that was literally my first thought when I had like these things happen I was like you've got to restrict you know and then when I ate next I was I felt guilty again for it and I think that was so interesting because I was sort of like wow like restriction really is a coping you know mechanism for me to immediately have something not related to food at all happen 
not in the slightest related to food or weight or anything like that to have something like that happen and my first thought process be you've got to restrict I'm like I've never seen like obviously having recovered and, and eating on a regular schedule now I never saw how much of a control that restriction had over me so I'm happy to report though I have not restricted I have been meeting all of my meals you know yesterday was really hard for me I was having a really down day and I was just like restriction thoughts were really really strong but I did not restrict I had my breakfast a snack I had my lunch I had a snack and then like another snack because I fell asleep and didn't like have a big enough snack um, <laughs> and then I had dinner and then I had a snack you know so I've been really pushing through those thoughts but it is something that like has never been so clear as day to me that like my restriction is how I cope with stressful situations and it's something that my psychologist mentioned to me a while ago and he said we need to get you to a point where restriction isn't the way that you see to like better yourself if that makes sense at all so like he said to me once and I wrote it down and I'll have to read you guys the notes like sometimes I don't like take a notebook or anything in my psychologist things but sometimes like I'll remember a quote and I'll like type it in my phone after my appointment um, but he said something like restriction is a slippery slope um, coping with stress with restriction is a slippery slope I don't know it's something along the lines of like how it's just not a good coping mechanism obviously and how like it is such a triggering one and just not a healthy one to have at all and for me when I do get stressed the first thing I lose is my appetite so even before my diagnosis when I was in school and everything and I was stressed with you know schoolwork friends work and everything like that I would just lose my appetite and I wasn't restricting per se like I wasn't really super conscious that I was skipping meals but I just like wouldn't eat because I wasn't hungry and you know you've still got to feed your body especially when you're stressed you know um, because when you don't eat your body goes into more stress obviously so that was just something also really interesting that I that I've noticed over the past um, few days slash week um, but yeah other than that I'm doing pretty all right I have a pretty strong appetite at the moment I'm eating like regular size meals I guess maybe a bit more and yeah so obviously like um, one of the hardest things for me is like the calorie counting still I still calorie count a lot but I am finding it easier to ignore those calorie thoughts if that makes sense so like say I'm eating something and I'm like calculating like 100 to 300 calories I find it easier now to be like, okay, so this meal is X amount of calories. I'm still going to eat it, you know, where in the past I would physically not be able to finish the meal or um, eat again, you know, after that. So that's definitely like a big change where calorie counting is still an issue for me, but it's not like controlling me. Like I'm very much able, like the other day, my mom and I were at a market and we bought these, um, there's this lady there who made um these gingerbread cookies and i'm a massive cookie person like over any other sweet treat i always love a cookie and gingerbread gingerbread and choc chip are certainly like two of my favorite cookies anyway um and she was saying gingerbread she had like a gluten-free gingerbread because like my mum's a celiac and we bought some and at first i was a bit scared to eat it but then i did eat one of the cookies and i was just like you know nervous about the um calories and everything but i was able to still eat it and move on with my day and still have lunch and everything like that so anyway but as you can see i am driving again which i am still limiting my driving and i'm leaning towards only doing day driving i did drive at night the other day and it yeah like not a fan of that um still just feel a bit like Spaced out isn't the word because I'm still like obviously being a responsible driver, but I am just feeling a bit like just not really connected as I used to be. So daytime's a lot better. Obviously, I'm a lot more awake because I still do get really tired at night. But yeah, I am just driving a bit more. It's also good to like give my car a run. So that's that. 
Are any of you guys still watching? <laughs> I've literally been chatting for so long. I'm just like, is anybody actually still watching anymore? Or am I just literally talking to no people? Anyway, if you're still here, thank you. I hope you're enjoying my driving rambling. Um, yeah, so anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm driving again and I am socializing a lot more, which has been really, really nice uh, to see like my real friends and the friends that really support me and everything it's really nice to have those people in my life so I've been doing a lot more um, but you know just taking it day by day but I did want to just fill you guys in on everything to do with body image and my digestive issues and like restrictive thoughts and everything and just to let you guys know that as I always say recovery is not linear and it, I think it's very easy to feel like you are recovered and like why am I still doing this etc like I still see this doctor does blah and it just sort of gets a drag and then like for example I have those moments where I get those restrictive thoughts again as a coping you know as a coping skill and I'm like hold on a minute like literally no one else who doesn't have disordered eating like has this as a coping you know what I mean like it's just not it's not you know it's not a, a good way to treat yourself you know your body needs food whether you're stressed or not and I think that might be where I leave you guys on this chat Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See ya.